said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy. Welcome to the second edition of Unsung, the nonprofit news magazine show. We bring you the news and events from our area nonprofits, and also the good things that you do to make our community a better place to live. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. In the last edition, we showed you this beautiful city from Mount Washington. Check out the opposite view. We're standing at the Overlook and Find View. Around me, the Leadership Development Class of Leadership Pittsburgh is setting up for their pop-up Pittsburgh event. They will show off this neighborhood by turning it into a movie set for the day. Their short film will show the glorious past, the struggles the neighborhood has gone through, and the hard work the residents have put in to rebuild it in the context of a zombie film. Look for it this fall. In this edition of Unsung, I talked to some real life superheroes at an event that benefits CASA of Allegheny County, and we take a look at some river stories from river life. But first, let's take a look at what's happening with our area nonprofits. On May 18th, the Why Cut What Works rally was held in Market Square. The rally is a part of a broad advocacy campaign to raise awareness of how the proposed $470 million in state budget cuts will hurt nonprofits, particularly in the human services area and the people they serve. Children, domestic violence victims, the poor, and the disabled all stand to be impacted. Over 300 attended the rally despite the rain. Why Cut What Works is a statewide coalition of United Ways, community foundations, and nonprofit organizations. You too can get involved by sending an electronic postcard to state legislators or by sharing your story with the site on how nonprofits perform vital services in the community. A big congratulations to area arts organizations and a kudos to the community. Pittsburgh is Art Day of Giving raised over $1.8 million for arts and culture organizations during a 24-hour period on May 11th. On a related note, arts organizations are also facing large cuts from the proposed PA budget. Save the Arts and PA is a campaign to raise awareness for these organizations. You can learn more from the Greater Pittsburgh Arts Council at pittsburghartscouncil.org. May 20th was National Bike to Work Day, and Pittsburgh came out in force. Free Pittsburgh and special coupons were available to those that kept the car parked and used their own power to get to work. A special ride was also organized by Flocka Cycles. Over the past years, Pittsburgh has become an increasingly bike-friendly city thanks to the efforts of local cyclists and nonprofit organizations like Bike Pittsburgh. Find out more about how you can attend a car-free Friday event or find the best routes to bike in the city at bike-pgh.org. I recently had a chance to visit the Superhero Fun Run in North Park. This is my report on the fantastic event. Anthony Walker here in North Park, April 30th, 2011, for this year's Superhero Fun Run. We're here today to talk to superheroes to find out the scoop on whether or not their powers help them complete the run. We're also going to talk to the local organizer of this event to get the background information on this organization and the event itself. For the first two years, we helped uh, Family Resources, and this year was our first year with CASA of Allegheny County. And we doubled in size from last year. We had about 264 people last year, and we had somewhere over 500 today. CASA is so lucky to have been chosen by the Superhero Foundation, not only here in Pittsburgh, but across the nation in cities like Austin, Atlanta, Richmond, and then here in Pittsburgh to have 5Ks and races to benefit CASA programs who spend their time fighting child abuse. Our volunteers provide a consistent voice for children. It's their job to know kids who are in the system better than any professional out there, to visit with them, talk to professionals, and then to report to the judge as to what's in their best interest. What are some of the highlights that you remember from the past three years? So last year was a real good one. We had, um, I can't remember his name, the guy with the underwear and the belt on his head. Oh, Quail Man. Quail Man, yes, that would be him. Uh, we had Quail Man here. Um, so that was great, and I think uh, Mikey and Bob today were uh, a standout with their underwear on the outside. The run in Richmond we had last year, we had uh, the pilot from uh, the plane of the Hudson. How does Bruce feel about you guys both coming out here to participate in this run all the way from Gotham City? He's completely supportive. Yes. 100%. 100% behind us. And I'm here with Logan of the X-Men who just completed this superhero fun run. Uh, how was the run? The run was quite good. It was nothing like uh, what we do in the X-Men, but uh, strenuous nonetheless. So the, uh, the training room definitely helped with this, right? Absolutely. I would say that uh, Xavier's psychic abilities really helped get me through that last 2K. 
Now, tell me, guys, uh, living in the sewers, did that help you prepare for this at all? I run away from the rats, everything else. You got to slide all across the place. When you were given the powers by the Guardians of Oa, uh, did they know you would be using them to do a superhero fun run? No, they didn't. Logan, do you think that your healing ability helped you complete this run? I would say that uh, the folks handing out water, including my young assistant here, Logan Light, uh, really helped us get through. We had to avoid all the sewage when it starts raining, so we got to run the opposite way kind of thing. Don't Definitely prepared us. Yeah, no poo. Did you have to blast anything out of your way on the path, or was that already taken care of for you? That was taken care of by the other broom lantern that was in front of me. What is your involvement in the Superhero Fun Run? To dress in underwear. The end. <laughs> no, really, this is our second year doing this. We get to judge the costume contest, which is pretty much the hardest part of this whole thing. And yeah, we don't run. The first year we didn't really know what it was all about, so we showed up in regular clothes, and everybody was just looking at us like we had disappointed the entire city. They're like, where's your costume? So this year, wore underwear, and we're like, air, underwear, costume. So yeah, second year, though, this year, though, and hopefully many more to follow. Well, our office is downtown, and, and really it begins by calling our office, which is 412-594-3606, or visiting our website, which is www.pgh-casa.org. Or you could also visit the Superhero website, which is superherorun.com, and there's a link to our program right there on their website. And how can people get in touch with you if they want to help you with the event? Again, that same email address, pittsburgh at the superherofoundation.org. Uh, they could also call me at 724-466-HERO, which is 4376. I personally had a great time at this event, both interviewing the superheroes that participated and the people that helped make it run each year. Now, let's take a look at new selections from pittsburghonvideo.org, where we focus on some of the best contributions to the site. To be considered for this segment, please feel free to submit your video to pittsburghonvideo.org. This time, we focus on what river life is up to. My absolute favorite place on the river is down by the point where the big fountain is. For people visiting the Pittsburgh area, I say nothing compares to coming through the tunnel here if you're coming down from 60. Going through the tunnel where everything's very rural on the other side and then you come through and you see the point, the three rivers coming together and it's breathtaking. When I was growing up in Aliquippa, one of my favorite things to do on the 4th of July was to come with my friends down to the point uh, to watch the fireworks display. We spent hours walking to the point so we can get right on the very edge so much that we can actually put our feet into the water. Watch the fireworks. You'll ha you would have like actual embers like coming down over you because you were so close to the barges where the fireworks were going off. Every 4th of July that I spent away from Pittsburgh, I have missed that experience. What's your story of living in a river city like Pittsburgh? Whether you're born in Pittsburgh, grew up here, moved here, or moved away, the city's three rivers leave a lasting impression on you. Last year, River Life set out to record your stories, your memories, concerns, hopes for the future, and your frank recollections of how our rivers have changed over the years. Now they, along with supremely talented animator Scott Benson, bring your stories to life. River Life will debut new animated videos throughout the spring and summer of 2011. For more information, go to riverlifepgh.org. Jenny Roth has organized a second Red Up Thread Up. The event is a clothing swap that benefits area nonprofits. The event is June 11th from noon to 6 p.m. at Pub Think Installation on 120th Federal Street, Pittsburgh, PA 15212, also known as the Old Firewaters location near PNC Park. Shop in style with an official Red Up Thread Up tote bag available for $10 at the door. 100% of the proceeds from the tote bag will go to the East End Cooperative Ministries. For event or donation details, please visit RedUpThreadUp.com. Rock the Streets is stepping up to a larger venue this year with a premier charity concert performance at Mr. Small's. Local bands, artists, and supporters will be featured in an effort to end poverty and homelessness. All funds raised will support the 5,000 plus low income and homeless individuals that the Community Human Services supports year round. The event is June 11th at 5 p.m. and more info is available from the Community Human Services website at chscorp.org. 
The next season of Bricolage's popular Midnight Radio series returns to the theater at 937 Liberty Avenue on June 16th. What's that on stage? It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Midnight Radio Superhero Edition. Bricolage proudly brings you thrilling tales of heroes from past and present, complete with killer sound effects, hilarious hijinks, and epic battles between good and evil. There are even special matinees for the children. Check out web bricolage.org for more details. And now for an event that I personally enjoyed. Toonzeum opened a new retrospective superheroes, icons, and origins at the Downtown Cartoon Museum. You can find out more info at toonzeum.org. We hope you've enjoyed this superhero edition of Unsung. You can find more episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. Also, be sure to let us know how you're a superhero in our community. Add your comments to this video. I'm your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. In a lab rockin' with the Fresh Prince of Pittsburgh. Shoot, sure, it's the new way. Hope you got your shoes laid. Here to change the music game and give it a new face. I'm taking someone, don't care who's playing. Cause dude's fake and I'm here to give a true taste. Shoot, sure, it's the new way. Hope you got your shoes laid. Here to change the music game and give it a new face. I'm taking someone, don't care who's playing. Cause dude's fake and I'm here to give a true taste. True I know taste. my name.